Good morning, Lancers, and welcome to GTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As most of you know, and some may not know, we have a food pantry in the counseling department. If you become aware of a student or friend in need of food at home, please send them down to the counseling center or walk them down to us. Some students are embarrassed to ask for help and need a little nudge. The food is provided by the Utah Food Bank, along with the generosity of our community and faculty members. On average, we are serving 50 families a month. I know there are many more in need. Keep in mind, one in five children go hungry every day. Let's keep helping our family, Granger High School. All seniors, listen up. You and your parents are invited to attend our Senior Parent Night this upcoming Monday, September 19th, during Parent Teacher Conference in the Career Center. Yes, I am talking to you, seniors. The counselors will be holding two separate sessions at 5.30 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. You don't need to attend both, just attend one. This will be a great time for you to bring your parents so they, too, know what's happening during your senior year. We will cover upcoming events including College Day, UCAW, College Admissions Information and Scholarships, ACT and FAFSA information. Come by the Counseling Center if you have any questions. See you soon. Is your schedule too full to take Latinos in action? Have you wanted to join the class but didn't know about it? Or do you just want to come get to know more people and get involved? Come to the Latinos in Action Club meeting on Monday, September 19th from 7.15 to 8.15 a.m. in the small gym. We'll be explaining what the club is and playing games. All DECA members, please come to our weekly DECA meeting every Thursday at 2.30 p.m. See you there. If you missed our first meeting for Key Club, stop by Mrs. Holt's room this week to pick up an application to still join. Pay dues to the Treasury and staple your receipt to the application to turn into Ms. Holt's by this Friday, September 16th at 2.30. Hope to see you soon. Attention all answers, would you like to help out children in need? The HOSA Club has organized a donation drive for underprivileged children in desperate need of extra school supplies if, and anyone can help. If you have any school supplies that are willing, you are willing to do, donate, you'll have until the 28th of this month to drop them off in the donation box, which will be located in the main office. Also, as a reminder to all HOSA members, member applications are due Friday the 16th. Turn them into Mr. Smith's <clears throat> room in E2, um, E102. Now it's time for GTV Sports. Calling on all true and loyal Lancers, our football game against Hunter is coming soon on September 16th and unfortunately won't be held at our school. <clears throat> so we could... We would like to get a spirit bus to bring our students over there and show them who's boss. If you are interested in having and riding the spirit bus, please sign up at the finance window during any of the three lunches this week until Friday. Those who sign up will be charged a dollar and they must be paid today or you will lose your spot. Come and support your Granger Lady Lancer volleyball team as they battle against the Hunter Wolverines. Varsity game begins at 4.30 p.m. at Hunter on Thursday, September 15th. Congratulations to the cross-country team. Every team member ran their fastest time in the race yesterday at West. Sarah Reynolds took first place in girls' race with a time of 22 minutes and 4 seconds for the th three-mile course. The girls' team finished three points short of first place, and the boys' team finished third. Way to go, cross-country. And now it's time for our first episode of GE News. That is where we cover all our Granger Entertainment news. We go to the go to Nayeli in Studio B now. Thank you guys, and this is G News. Um, we talk about entertainment. We interview people in this section, um, and today we have John Hart with us, also known as Little John. Um, I also I see that there's a play coming up. Yes, it's called it is the Wizard of Oz. It's gonna be great. Um, we have a, what play, what character do we play? I play the Wizard of Oz. It's a pretty big role. I, I am very, very excited to play this role. It's going to be a great, great opportunity for me, and it, it's very, very great. I love it. That's nice. What's your favorite part in the show? Uh, favorite part is probably when Dorothy goes throughout the Yellow Brick Road, and she meets her friends. She, goes, she meets Scarecrow, which is Nathan Musselman, and she goes to, then she goes to the, um, the where she passes by the trees, and she goes to see David Fuller, which is the Tin Man, and she goes to see the lion, and it's so great to see how all of them need one thing, which they all already technically have, and it's great to see how, how great good friends they become, and 
yeah, I just hope that, it, that everything goes well and it's going to be great. Nice. Um, anything you want to tell people? Any news? Um, the Come out and see the musical. It will be in November. More details will come. And the swim social is today from 6 to 8 p.m. Come and meet in the black box. It's going to be freaking awesome. Yeah, so come to the social thingy and welcome um, back to you guys in the studio. That's all for GTV. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> Hell cut. <laughs>